Hey, y'all. Just trying to get myself together before I, you know, get into this whole thing of these people. <clears throat> so I had to wet my throat, you know what I'm saying, and stuff. But hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. We're a great streak and all. And this is a review. Y'all already know to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, to comment in the comment section, to share this video on your social media, you know, hit that little share button, to um, hit the notification bell. You can follow me on IG and on Twitter, and my IG handle was somewhere on the screen. I watched the show today. And I will not be watching the reunion. I will not be reviewing the reunion. Um, I urge everyone watching me right now, whether you agree with me or disagree with me, I urge you to also not watch the reunion. No one should watch the reunion, okay? This show has been on for I don't know how many years. And all the years it has been on, I've always watched this show. And there's a reason why I'm not saying the name because y'all know what show we're talking about. And it has never been as bad as it is right now. And wait, my screen is crooked. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I know it don't seem like it changed at all, but it changed enough for me. Um, anyway, so all the seasons of this show, whether it was the LA cast or the Miami cast, it's never been as bad as it was this season. Never have we watched a literal, a train just wrecking havoc on a show. And I mean that because the way they just kind of ostracize OG and CC. I have never seen grown women do that ever in life. So, I've already canceled the DVR recording on my thing, so I, I, I don't care. Um, we saw the little preview of the reunion where we see OG is leaving. We see CC leaving. You know, we know Tammy not there. And I feel like watching the reunion makes them feel like they still want to watch us. We'll still have the ratings. The only way for a network to not renew a show is if people don't watch it. And that's why I said I will finish out the season, and that's it. This episode, we see Kristen still blaming Cece as the reason why, and I'm going to try to be as calm. I hope y'all can't hear that. My neighbor, Carl, I'm going off. He's so it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, but I'm going to be as calm as I can be during this review. Okay? Just so that YouTube won't be jerks and try to flag it. It probably will be flagged. So I don't know when you will get this. Again, it is early. Th it's, it's 12.50 Wednesday night. Thursday morning or whatever. So we'll see when you get this. But I'm going to try to be calm, cool, and collected so that you two won't be jerks. Okay? But they probably will get flagged and y'all will get it when y'all get it. Um, Kristen is blaming Cece as the reason for, you know, Byron not liking them or whatever. Her husband and Byron being at odds or whatever. She's the reason Byron. No, Kristen, you are the reason. Everything you've done, everything you said, the way you've acted, the way you've treated his fiance, Cece, is the reason Byron don't mess with you. The reason Byron don't mess with his son is because his son has allowed his wife to treat his fiance like that. And because his son has allowed his wife to discuss him on national television when that ain't what he wants. That is why Byron and his son is going to have a strained relationship. All oh, because of you. If you had never brought up nothing about Byron, not one thing. I think Byron and Thomas are going to still be cool. And y'all could have worked on things behind the scenes. But no. 
Kristen, you didn't have nothing else going on. You needed a storyline. So what you did was you used your husband's father. That's what you did. And you were trying to blame your husband's uh, father's fiance as the reason for it all. You don't take accountability for anything that you do because you're a follower, Kristen. You would never be more than Thomas's wife. That's what you would be. You will also be your daughter's mother. And that may be well and great. Because I'm not married. I don't have children. But I'm still a real person, Kristen. And you are as fake as frog hair. I don't even think frogs have hair, my dear. You don't have a backbone, okay? You are spineless, okay? You sit around and follow behind and trace behind. See, uh, 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 Evelyn and, and Shawnee and anybody else because you don't have your own personality honey you are boring because you don't live your own truth your own thing is that you cry at the top of a hat when someone calls you on your crap okay that's all that you do it never should be tearfully okay tearfully Christian because all you do is cry cry and cry see see the reason that baby doesn't like us when when he help me girl we don't care Okay, we don't care. But I digress. And the bad part about Kristen blaming Cece is how Malaysia backed her up. How Shawnee agreed. Evelyn agreed. Everybody. Furby. Well, Furby was, was a dead mouse in the corner. She didn't say nothing. And you know what I'm saying? But they, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Cece fault. It's Cece fault. And Cece, you know, Cece won't take accountability. She won't admit it. Every. Y'all are pathetic. Okay. Shawnee then makes it about OG, saying that OG is aggressive, okay? You know, we've all done wrong, but OG is, oh, she is so aggressive. Let's kind of just do a, a countdown of things that's going on over the years, okay? Malaysia, whose real name is, I believe, is Laquisha or La something, is not Malaysia. She's not from no other country but this country, okay? From the Compton of the city of California, okay? So, girl, bye. Anyway, Malaysia got into a fight on episode one, season one, with Laura Govan, okay? And this is about two or three or four weeks after Laura Govan had had a baby. Laura Govan still had her pregnant pooch when her and Lakeisha Malaysia compton had a whole fist fight on the top of a restaurant's uh, uh, rooftop uh, eatery, okay? That's what she did, a fist fight. Um, let's not forget that also Malaysia attempted, no, I didn't even attend, uh, Malaysia picked up a table, she picked up a table and tried to toss it at GM last season. Oh, but no one called Malaysia aggressive for that. Okay, and then we have Jackie. Every season before Jackie has gotten into it with somebody, a some kind of physical altercations where security had to have them separated. And if I recall, OG has technically never had to have security hold her back from anything. OG has never did nothing more precise. Say something. She said things. She she said things, and that's about it. Okay. Anyway, Tammy. Okay, in her first season, let Evelyn know you are a non-motherfucking factor, bitch. No, 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 I'll take that back. Evelyn told Tammy she was a non-motherfucking factor. And then to return, Tammy popped her in the face, okay? <coughs> they had a whole altercation. Tammy also tried to fight Jen at one point in the earlier season, but we're not going to talk about that. Evelyn. Then I think Tammy also is the one that slapped Mika Claxon. Or is it Mika Claxon? Claxon? Yes, she slapped somebody, but I digress, okay? Now let's get to Evelyn. Evelyn Lozada has got into a fight every season. Evelyn Lozada is the reason they have security, okay? Evelyn has gotten into a fight with every cast member every season that she's been on the show. Evelyn, every season, has tried to test whoever she feel like she can dominate, okay? And usually, she do it to people who won't really stand up for themselves. OG is the one who she can't play with. She has never given OG the energy that, she, that her mouth gives OG. Evelyn tries to make 
OG react and get physical. And OG never does. OG is very much so in control of her emotions and her actions. You know why? Because she's disciplined. Evelyn is a goddamn on wildcat, but I digress. Okay? Evelyn has run across tables, has threw bottles at people, has um, threw glasses and drinks on people every season, multiple times a season. She is one of the main reasons the Miami cast was canceled. Or whichever, was it Miami? Yeah, the Miami cast was canceled. She is the reason. It was it was too much fighting every season. So for Shawnee to say, oh my God, you know, OG is so aggressive, she's on too much. But she's sitting next to the people who have always Fought people. Shawnee, you are a liar. Shawnee, you are a hypocrite. Shawnee, you have showed your tail. We see your slip, okay? As Mariah from American Medicine would say, and we see who you are on the inside. You are not supportive of women. You are not supportive of mothers, of athletes, of black women. You are none of those things. You are a perpetuating bitch, okay? You want to be the top bitch in charge. When you are no longer married to Shaq, you are no longer and has not been a basketball wife in years, okay? You sit around as if you are the queen bee, the, the la dame of, of, of it all, and you're nothing in this situation. You're an EP of the show, so you just kind of dangle your fingers and let everyone else look like the bad guy. But we see you this season, Shawnee. You have showed your tail, and we see that you are rats, okay? And I just cannot deal with people who try to make it seem like, oh my God, you know, I don't want anybody getting in any trouble. I don't want anyone fussing and fighting. But you are keeping the people here who have fought the whole time. Evelyn then said, just, I'm, I'm trying to go thing by thing. Evelyn then says how, you know what I'm saying, OG doesn't care that Ocho, you know, head butter her and all that stuff that went on. However, you know, she also said, you know, but I can be with a man who cheats on me because I'm not afraid to eat alone. Well, keep eating, you little heifer, okay? We don't care, you know? No one is even asking Evelyn, why were you running after Cece with the bamboo stick, Evelyn, why did no one sitting there ask her that? No, y'all want to point out how OG stopped her from running after Cece. And y'all want to make it seem like that because OG stopped what she was doing. OG is the issue. Okay. Shawnee then says she wants to talk to OG because she feel like OG... You know, was always the one around who causes the problems. You know, she needs to butt out of other people's business because, so that is the reason she is not going to invite OG to the final lunch of this trip, okay? And then she also brings up and says how, you know, Evelyn, you only have is issues a couple times a year. <sighs> Shawnee. I hope your daughters, like, watch this show. And they like, Mom. You ain't shit. You know you were on my... Like, I just... I don't get it. I don't get it. I do not get it. But I digress. So, the next day, everybody's sitting around in a separate group. We know how Jackie, OG, and CC together. All the mother heavens is together. You know, the, the Furbies, the fake Lasias, the fake Evelyns, the fake Shawnees, and who else? Then the fake Kristens. And Kristen is such a non I forgot she was there. Anyway, you know, she brings some... Malaysia. Oh, you know, I run out. Jackie isn't the issue. The real issue was OG and Cece. Now, Byron is her cousin. So, you mean to tell me that your cousin's wife is the issue? Okay. But you're all about family. Okay. Anyway, Evelyn brings up how she hit up Chad last night. Yes, head butted Evelyn, hit up her ex abuser to get information from him since OG said that he used to try to hit her up. And Chad is such a wonderful person that, of course, he wouldn't lie to her. Of course, he's going to help her out in any way possible, okay? Sure, the man she divorced after six or seven days who was cheating on her and had condoms in the car is who she calls for validation, okay? That's like me. Who calls the ex-abuser for validation? Anyway, she then says he sent her messages 
of his conversations with OG. You know, and it really makes it seem like OG was sending him messages and he was not responding. Because it's like she's sending him stuff and he's not saying anything back. And Evelyn is so dumb, I'm assuming he may be head but out her sense that she don't think he deleted out stuff before he sent her these screenshots. Because everybody know if you have been messaging with somebody, you can easily delete your own comments or delete theirs and make the conversation look however you want it to look. Okay? Girl, bye. And Chad, why did you answer Evelyn's call? Chad, why did you have text messages or whatever or DM messages from so long ago? You want to know why? Because something was there. Okay? When crazy people text you or message you and you don't you don't respond to them, first of all, you delete them and block them from contacting you. Let's just say that. Anyway, she said that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, she kept calling him Chatty Bear. And I'm like, okay. She then said she's going to post these messages on her IG because she wants um OG's man to see them. And I said, I have a feeling that ain't going to work. So, Shawnee meets with Jackie. Yep, I'm not... It's, I can't do any of the other stuff. Shawnee meets with Jackie and tells Jackie that OG is a liability and she's too high sell or whatever. And then Jackie like, but she ain't did that. Like, I don't get like, when would Evelyn, Evelyn in Malaysia be labeled a liability? Because again, that's who's currently here who's got into fights before. They have never been called a liability when they were literally liabilities. Okay. The reason they had to get security and the reason they had canceled the Miami franchise is because when that girl, I think I think with the Claxton girl, when she got hit, she sued them. So that means Tammy and Evelyn in Malaysia were literally liabilities. So much so that a whole franchise got closed. Okay? And I don't girl anyway. Shawnee then brings up how, you know, well, you know, we all know each other. You know, me and Evelyn and Lady and you, you know, we all we we're friends. We're a, we're a circle of sisters. You know, we're we're together. Like we know one another, whatever. We've known each other for a while. So we know what the other one will or won't do. But we don't know what OG would do. If OG hasn't put her hands on none of y'all after each one of y'all had been in her face over some BS, then she not going to touch y'all. OG has been in situations where she could have literally put hands on any of them for them just testing her gangster, and she has not. She has been able to be calm, cool, collective, and get to them verbally. They don't know how to deal with OG. They wanted to bully OG and make OG kind of bend to their will, and she don't do that. That's what they found aggressive because she won't back down. It's not how she talks. It's not what she says. It's the fact that she won't back down from them. She gives it to them 10 times harder what they give to her. But mainly because it's four or five of them and it's one of her. Period. And I can say that from a point of when I have to be aggressive, I'm aggressive. If the situation calls for it, I will get back with you verbally and I will shut you down. And that's what OG does. She shuts them the whole down from the rooter to the tutor. Okay, without having to get up, lift her finger, it's in her voice. Okay, and some of y'all have heard me go off. So y'all can imagine how I would be if I was really pissed off somebody, how I would be. That's how she's aggressive. She's aggressive because she's defending herself against a brack pack of hoes who's too old to be acting this way. But I digress. Anyway, Jackie brings up how, well, I feel like Furby be, be doing too much or whatever. <coughs> because we heard me going at it or whatever, but, you know, but I don't care. Shawnee then says, well, I think OG might hit somebody. You know what I'm saying? I think, you know what I'm saying, you know, she can't be just fighting everyone else or whatever. She can't, no, she can't be fighting everyone else's battles. You know, she can't be getting in it when, you know, CC and Kristen is, is having whatever. She can't be getting into it if you're like, you want Furby. But each of them gets the whole reason that CC and Evelyn had issue is because Evelyn got in Kristen and CC's business. But you want OG this Shawnee is two faced. Shawnee is a colorist. Shawnee is just an uneven haircut ass bitch and she irks my damn nerves. Okay? And then she tells Jackie that they're gonna have a lunch. 
you know, the final lunch or whatever. They choose your dinner. This time is lunch. She says, and you can come, and CC can come, but OG can't come. So you, you invited her on the trip, and then you're going to say she can't come to the to the thing. They invited OG there just because. Just to make her look bad, okay? And and in hindsight, it's making them all look worse. And it's making OG look better. Point blank. She then say she say, you know, I don't think she should be a part of this group. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what kind of group she should be a part of. Maybe she should be a part of the football team. I can't say how much more Shawnee ain't shit. I can't even really get hype. And angry because they showed us who they are. Okay? Show them who you are, Simba. Okay? And they showed us that they're pieces of shit. Okay? Anyway, Chris, we said short phone call with Chris and her husband. And she telling her husband how she does not want to work it out with CC. And, you know, if I, you know, I don't care, whatever, you know what I'm saying? She's, the, again, she blaming CC for the things between her and Byron. CC, I mean, I mean, Kristen, you know, you've done what you tried to do times 20. You wanted a storyline, you had that. But in, in, in the course of that, you lost your husband's father, okay? You ruined the relationship between your, your husband and his father. Even if it wasn't the best before, you ain't making that damn, damn bit better. So if you say, I, you know, it's good, if I, I'm okay with not talking to CC, that's fine, I and mean, you got what you wanted. You got your husband all to yourself, okay? So Jackie then goes to talk to CC and OG and tell them about her conversation with, with Shawnee. Um, she brings up how Shawnee doesn't, doesn't like... You know, OG, you saying how much you're going to, like, beat people up or whatever. And she, like, but Evan was, like, chasing people around tables or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She was chasing CC down like and no one even said anything. And it's true. It's so true that it's flabbergasting to, for it to be that way or whatever. And she then said, you know, she does not. You know, you're not invited to lunch. They didn't care. You know, CC and OG was saying factual things out. They ain't, you know, the girls is hypocrites and all this other stuff. And I, you know, I don't, I don't have to defend CC or OG at this point because I think y'all are aware they are the victims here. And not, and not even the victims. They are just the people who are tired of the other one's crap and they're not taking it anymore. And you know what I'm saying? OG brings up how it was a huge difference between me talking about something and them literally putting their hands on people and that's what they have done. Again, all this season, we have never seen security have to hold OG back. We've seen security have to hold Evelyn back plenty of times. This season, last season, season for that, season for that, forever. Forever, forever, ever, and ever, ever. Okay, but I digress. So, again, she brings about no one holds Evelyn accountable for what she does. When Shani then goes tell OG, go tell Evelyn and them, how she did not invite OG to the lunch or whatever, so they're not going to see her. Evelyn then says, no, where's she at? I want to confirm because I printed out these texts, you know, these these texts or whatever, and, and these, these receipts, and I want to confront her. So even though they disinvited OG to the luncheon, they all traped their little ass down to the dang on hot springs where CC, OG, and Jackie is so that Evelyn, old stinking ass, can confront her and I'm like okay it is what it is you know and she has found some kind of way to print out these messages from Chad to point them out to, to, to OG and when OG sees them all kind of pop up or whatever she's like you know what this is a setup or whatever it's some bullshit or whatever you know what I'm saying how can you tell me I'm not invited to the lunch but then you come here where I am to kind of confront me or whatever and so the confrontation happens and I'm gonna say this Evelyn you are a fool a mork a mork. As, as, as Alex would say, you are a fool, a mark, and a moron, okay? Because you let Chad fool you again. He fooled you once and Samaria, I mean, he's fooling you again, okay? So, she had these pre-printed papers or whatever, which just say, you know, hey, Chad, and the name, and it just looked like she was the only one was talking to him. And Malaysia is holding the papers up as Evelyn points it out with some pointer. Who has a pointer in the middle of Costa Rica? Where did you get a pointer from? What Kinko's did you find in Costa Rica or Staples, I don't know, off of Depot, did you find to get the papers printed out and a, a freaking pointer? 
Anyway, you know, Odie said, oh, no, mm-mm, no, honey, let me get my phone and show you the whole message. You know, I'm not that, that old, what you have there, that old cut and paste bullshit, no, ma'am, let me get you stuff that goes all the way back to 2011, okay? When And that was when Eve and Chad were supposedly, you know, together as Evelyn said, she they got married in 2012. So, again... Evelyn has pre-printed stuff. She so as she I have I'm, I'm prepared with my receipts. The fact that OG went and got her phone on the whim of it all and had messages, you know she not lying because she didn't have time to fix shit in her phone for whatever reason. And we all know iPhones keep messages from forever ago, honey, forever and forever ago, whatever. It's, it's always there if you had the same number or whatnot. Anyway, so Evelyn face looks busted and disgusted as OG starts to say, yep, 2011, hey, girlfriend, hey, you know, and it's the whole conversation between her and Chad, where Chad is calling her cute and saying that she's attractive, asking her how old she is. At this point in time, she was 26. So, again, this was seven, eight, was, sorry, uh, this was eight years ago of all this or whatever, before, when OG was single. So, the fact that Evelyn was trying to say, you know, oh, she was with Kwame. She was, you know, no, she wasn't with Kwame back then. But I digress. So, OG brings up how, you know, Evelyn's a fool. Does she think that Chad, or her and Chad only talk via Twitter? So, apparently, Chad sent her Twitter DMs, not the DMs, not the not the message that they talk via phone. Mm-hmm. And so, she reads off the long list of the conversations, okay? And she brings up how I didn't, I didn't want him like that. Whatever. I was trying to get with him. He was trying to to get with me and let's be honest in 2011 chad was messing with different girls chad was in different girl dms we know that for a fact that's how him and evelyn hooked up <sighs> evelyn said chad don't want you he don't want you and evelyn, i mean in the oh it's a girl by chad don't want you Chad wants to be with a black woman, okay? You not black. You can slick your hair down all you want to, whatever. You can, you know, be with as many black men as you want to be with. You can keep him the N-word or whatever, but you would never be black. I'm saying you would not, you you won't be black in my receipt. They was going back and forth at that point in time. I don't know when the black thing <laughs> came into play, um, but it can be thing which Evelyn says she identifies as Afro-Latina, but people are saying that she said that knowing this episode was gonna, was gonna start playing or whatever, and so that's why she tried to cover her ass and say she's Afro-Latina and she died just Puerto Rican. Um, either way I go, OG won. Okay, because OG had receipts out the blue. Evelyn had some printed bullshit, which again can be cut and paste or whatever, but OG had loud receipts. As she scrolled through her phone, like scrolled, she was like, scroll, 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 scroll. 2011, January 14, 2011, Chad Ocho Cinco. Oh, hey, what's up? And I'm like, oh. And then OG went on her IG. Okay, yes, I have the pictures. Look. I'm going to put it as CC on her on her IG. And, you know, she puts, understand that when I post receipts, it's to clear up the lies 100%. And a small portion goes to petty.org, okay? Now, she posted a couple things on her page. Let me just get it to y'all. She then posted this. <clears throat> How, um, so I guess I'm supposed to ignore these last two. Not happening. Who approved this show summary? Now, let me show y'all a close-up of the show summary that she highlighted down there, okay? Because I went to my DVR box to see was that really what was on there. And sure enough, the summary of tonight's episode says, Evelyn has printed receipts that prove OG might not be only a cheater, but a home wrecker too. Best girl. <laughs> they want to try to paint. OG as a home record between Chad and Evelyn? Wasn't a home wreck when Chad was shot that cheating air button? Ain't that what ended it? If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, okay, and OG has said that she hasn't been with Chad, but they had conversations via text and messages or whatever. Girl, y'all, anyway, she posted up these things, too, as you see. Okay, why didn't you read this part, Egghead? Because last year, they wanted me to talk about this and talk about his ass, and I said no, okay? And we can kind of see where it says it's from him. 
it's from him. You know, you ain't getting in trouble with your dude. Now, that's the part that Evelyn read, okay? And then it was um because she was asking Chad for his number, okay? This was recently in 2018, okay? Which, again, was last year. And she was like, Cindy, I need to talk to you about something. And then he said, well, what's up? Just tell me. And she said, it has to do with your ex. I pretty much just said you're a, a good dude and didn't want to comment on the situation, meaning they wanted her to discuss chat on the show before, and she did not want to, and she's trying to give him a heads up. And again, these are I, these are OGs that she posted on her, her story today. She then put, in 2011, I was single, okay? And you see the message from Chad, from Chad, and it says, you know, it was from a phone number, okay? Okay, you are fine. How old are you? I think I'm 26, a boyfriend, no, what about yourself? And he said, well, I do deal with someone where we can be BFFs. And that was his way of trying to practice to get to people back in the day, okay? And then she po she posted a couple of things or whatever. She posted a swift, oh, egghead, why did you bring it up? Why did you bring up old shit, you know? And another message from him saying, you know, you're, you're fresh, I want more pictures, you look good. And he said, you know, ha, 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 you're funny. He then sent a picture of himself. She sent one of her, okay? So she sent that or whatever. And then uh, I think it's just one or two more things. Oh, yeah, so this one. And so who's the nine motherfucker factor nine bitch, okay? And it was him in that photo. And he said, I'll call you in a minute, baby girl. Okay, so again, it's a thing to where Evelyn, Rick, Chad sent her, you know, redacted stuff. And then she put the last thing up of this one of saying, I don't know. What King Cole, they found in Costa Rica to print those skeleton tweets. <laughs> skeleton tweets. Um, but get it together, Sherlock had He deleted everything that he said before sending them to the foolish Egypt. Biko, girl. Um, or whatever. But again, Evelyn's face was smashed because she thought, Evelyn thought I had to, to jump on her. I had to talk to Chad. He sent me these things. But she had the actual messages in her phone the whole thing proving chad made you look dumb chad may have thought the og wouldn't still have it like he still had it but she did and i mean it's just whatever so the whole time um as og like you know you ain't black or whatever he wants to be with a black woman and then evelyn was just kind of walking away and she said, Evelyn, you can keep buying titties and keep buying ass because he wants a real woman. And she shakes her butt. Oh, whatever. Your butt is old. Her butt is firm. OG has a bad body. Point blank, period. Okay. And, you know, Evelyn walks away, face all busted or whatever. And then after OG is in the car, Shani going to say, well, you know, God loves you. Jesus loves you, OG. She's like, I know. Shani, shut up. Sit down and shut up. We don't care about you. We don't care about your businesses. Shawnee, you have lost a lot of women respect. Okay, women respected you. And I feel like the ones who watch the show, the the true one don't... This, this, you can have the... The only way people can, will fuck with Shawnee in the future, Shawnee has to have the cure to cancer. Or the cure to, to some disease... That people want to cure for. That's the only way people will wholeheartedly mess with her. She has to cure spina bifida, acne, um, you know, just any STDs that she can just cure AIDS, all that stuff. If she cure anything that's incurable, that's the only thing that people will support her that she does. No one likes Shani. They don't. The people who like Shiny ain't shit either. Anyway, fuck you, Shiny. So, at that point in time, it's just both sets of women talking about whatever. You know, the losers of it all. You know, Malaysia, Kristen, Furby, Shiny, and, you know, Evelyn or whatever. It, why don't she have text from 2011? Oh, she's a home wrecker and a cheater. And I'm looking like... And when Furby said, why would she be around you knowing she, she had them text of, you, of, you, of her and her, of her and your ex-husband... Evelyn was around Tammy, and she fucked her husband. So you think OG can't be around Evelyn because she talked to Chad eight years ago? When, <laughs> what, girl, Phoebe, Furby, Chia Pet, shut up, okay? Anyway, you know, I'm just, it, it, and why she got old stuff? Chad had old stuff, too. I just, <sighs> I'm so happy this show is over. I don't know what 
to do with myself. You know, OG brings up how it's funny that Evelyn was so bothered that she went and called Chad. Yes, Evelyn went and called her head butter. That's what she... I think Evelyn called her head butter to get information on OG while she was in Costa Rica. Why do you even have Chad's number? So, why? Who, who... I... Look... I would not want to go through the hoops it would take for me to get in contact with an ex who was my hair butter. I would not have to do that. And my thing is, Evelyn either still had Chad's information, and that's sad, okay, or she reached out to people to get in contact with him, which is even worse. I just I cannot do it or whatever. And OG said that she had other texts too, but she like I didn't want to address. The, I didn't want to put those out. And she also brings up how Shani only addresses her her. Her issues with, with OG, but she does not address Evelyn or anybody else's behavior, which is very, very true. Um, and then OG gives her knees as a prayer, and she hoped that Evelyn closed her legs to me and, and stuff. <sighs> They're all horrible people. They are. Like, the, I cannot believe this show. I cannot believe this season. 16 episodes. I don't know how I made it through. Okay, I don't know how it happened, but it did. So, if you watch this whole time, you have to put who team are you? Are you team OG and CC? Are you team Evelyn and Kristen? Are you team Furby? Like, who is your team? This is my thing. I'm team OG and CC, mainly because the last two episodes, they came with dance. Okay, they came and they stopped letting themselves be pushed around. I'm happy that Cece stood up for herself. I'm also happy that neither of them apparently will be on next season. I'm happy they chose to walk away. Um, again, I told y'all the only way anyone would watch next season, they would have to get rid of Evelyn, Shawnee, Malaysia, Kristen, and Furby. Because if you keep them, mainly because... Because um, OG's gone, Tammy's gone, and Cece's gone. If you get rid of those three and leave the rest of them, no one's going to watch next season. Because that's who everyone had a problem with. So I am 100% Team OG because I do not have time for the bullshit. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to end it here. I might go live um, Friday. I don't know talk about this. We have to see. Peace.